78 Sports TV here. Salute to the mighty LDBC. Smash the like button. Hit the subscribe. Turn on your notification bell so you'll be notified when I drop a new video. And if you're digging the video, go ahead and share this joint. So, Saul Canelo Alvarez, the so-called face of boxing, has been stripped by the IBF. Shout out to the IBF. The IBF is, seems to be the only sanctioned body that's standing on business out here that actually uh, tries to enforce their mandatories and trying to do boxing uh, and operate in within boxing the right way, um, trying to be consistent and treat everybody the same way. So salute to Dale Peoples and the IBF. And they don't, you know I mean, sometimes it's, it's irritating and stuff like that when you can't get the fights you want because some guy got to fight his mandatory, but I salute the IBF for being consistent. Uh, Canelo... Um, was supposed to fight his mandatory, some cat named Skull, some bum. And um, he turned down that fight to fight Edward Belanga. Okay, he'll be, he'll be fighting Belanga uh, in Vegas coming up September. Many people say Belanga is a bum. And this is a cherry pick by Saul Canelo Alvarez. Uh, sure, listen, man, anybody he fights besides David Benavidez is a cherry pick. The guy he, he's supposed to fight is David Benavidez. And, I'm, and you know what irritates me the most? I'm seeing people, Canelo fans, make excuses saying that David Benavidez is not pressing for the fight. Why isn't Benavidez doing this and that if he really wants to fight? Dude, are y'all serious, bro? How much, what else did this man have to do besides run up to Canelo and slap him? What else did he have to do? He's the, he's the, Canelo's mandatory. The WBC will not enforce the mandatory because they are uh, swinging from Canelo. Swinging from his, his you know what. That's what it is. The WBC don't want to fall on Canelo's bad side. They want to stay within his good graces. Uh, they want their name, their belt attached to the so-called face of boxing. And that's why they let him get away with everything. So the WBC is the total opposite of the IBF. The WBC lets Canelo do whatever he wants to do. Meanwhile, they try to act tough with other fighters from other divisions. See, they'll, they'll tell Devin Haney, you got to fight this guy, otherwise you're getting stripped, right? They'll tell the, the next guy, I'm ordering this fight, you got to fight him. But Canelo, no, I'm sorry, I don't need your belt. I don't care what you want to strip me. Fine. I don't. I don't, I don't want you. Your belt. I ain't want to pay you a sanction of fees anyway. They know that. So it's it's about leverage. The inconsistencies of the WBC and other sanctioned bodies is pathetic. The WBA. They allowed Javante Tank Davis to tell them who he not gonna fight. Oh no, I'm not. You can't. You can't make me do nothing. No, I'm not. Listen, I don't need y'all. You, you can't make me do nothing. You can't order me to fight nobody. So if sanctioned bodies are allowing fighters to tell them that, what's the point of the belts? I mean, seriously, it's, it's not fair. Because if unless everybody's getting treated the same way, it makes zero sense. You can't have a, 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 a fighter A, who's a middleweight champion for the WBC, and he wants to go off and explore another opportunity to fight some other guy, but, you, but the WBC telling him, no, nah, you gotta fight this guy over here, you're mandatory. Otherwise, you get a strip. You got, we can order in the purse bid. You're like, what? Well, bro, I just got the bill. Yeah, but you still got to fight him. Meanwhile, the whole boxing community is watching Canelo Alvarez have free reign to do whatever he want to do, and the WBC does nothing. You know why? The, the WBC is secretly still treating Canelo Alvarez as if he's the franchise champion. Because, you know, franchise champion ain't got no mandatories. So that's what's really going on here. The WBC is still treating Canelo as if he's the franchise champion. All right? But Canelo, I'm glad he got stripped by the IBF. It shows consistency on the part of the IBF. They did the same thing to Crawford. They did the same thing to, uh, uh, I think they did the same thing to uh, uh, Charlo, I think. But the IBF had been like this forever. They always been on, consistent, you know. You got to fight your mandatory. You know, they give you some leeway to go do this and that. But you got to fight your mandatory. You know what I'm saying? If you don't, you're going to get stripped, you know. So I don't feel sorry for Canelo. What I want from Canelo Alvarez is I want him to step up to the plate and fight uh, David Benavidez. It's a huge fight. It's a mega fight. Uh, it's, it's the fight that uh, boxing fans want to see. It's, it's one of the biggest fights in boxing right now. You know what I mean? And Canelo knows that. He knows it. Uh, you know, he knows that. The whole world knows it. That's Canelo versus Benavidez is a fight that casuals are talking about. People who don't really know boxing, but they try to pretend like they know boxing, that's the fight. Oh, I want to see Benavidez versus Canelo. You know what I'm saying? So it's gotten to that level. But like most fights in boxing, they are huge. They're going to let the fight get played out. And, uh, you know, they're going to let it two, three, four, five years down the line 
when, when both guys have washed up, then they're going to try to give us the fight and act like we're supposed to care, you know what I mean? And they get mad if we don't step up to the plate and order all the pay-per-views. 7 Day Sports TV, salute to the mighty ODBC. Y'all smash that like button, share the video, subscribe to the channel, and we up out of here, deuces.